be heard. This is a learning code. And he has stated he wants to speak regarding citizens' rights. Mayor, City Council, Mr. Barry, Mr. Crumlin. Thank you, but before I start speaking, I would like to publicly apologize to all of the city workers that is here tonight and all of the citizens from the city of Hickory that is here, especially the young scouts. I would like to give a little explanation before I go into my presentation. That's fine, Mr. Pope, you, you realize you've got to, you, you got to live with the three-minute uh, limitation. Well, Mayor, I will uh, finish when I finish. Well, yeah, Mayor, I'm not going to argue with you tonight. Uh, the scouts that are here, I just want them to know that part of their motto is be prepared. And that is what I am. I am prepared to deal with the unfairness and the treatment of our tax dollars by our city council. I asked weeks ago about the obstacles on Union Square that keeps me from freely traveling about as I should be able to do. Each day that I was on Union Square this past week going to the drugstore, ran into the fence of the area that you are using to build the farmer's market building. Someone had to come along, which was a very nice, gracious citizen, that helped me to get around that obstacle. You can spend money to go all over the country to see what they're doing to help their downtown development association. But I have been to three, on three of those trips where it was said by one of the members involved in that group representing the city that what do y'all do about the undesirables that come downtown to events when they occur? If y'all do not create an environment to make citizens feel welcome, then you're going to create a situation where the undesirables want to create problems because they don't feel welcome. I watched you spend money and spend money and spend money. I watched you, Mayor, when, you, when I met with you about what was happening with a worker at Hickory Public Housing Authority, that you would not believe me when I told you some of the things that was happening in that organization. You said you had no authority. That organization was established under the charter of our city. So yes, you did have responsibility. So as you know, I left that meeting and filed a complaint with the U.S. Department of Justice. <laughs> On February 10th, there was supposed to be a meeting to try to resolve the issue, but none of the appointed board members that you and this city council appointed showed up. When the media called you, Mayor, asking you questions about things that they had learned at that meeting, you immediately got on the phone and called Hickory Public Housing Authority wanting you to speak to the executive director because you had received a phone call from the media. I also truly believe that when that executive director was charged with simple assault on a worker, you called the district attorney's office and asked that those charges be dropped. That was a violation of that citizen's right because under the general statute, Article 15A, 824 through 830, it talks about victims' rights. Simple assault is under that statute. We've got two lawyers here. And you want to talk to them about it, you can talk to them about it. But, Mayor, y'all are going to have to stop violating citizens' rights in this city. That includes my rights to travel about this city freely. So when I ask y'all about doing something 
to make a path from the crosswalk coming across from the railroad tracks to Union Square, I received a letter saying, no, that y'all are not willing to do that. If you want to make me fight you in court, you know me good enough to know I will fight you in court. But Mayor, I would rather you act like a responsible adult and do what you and this city council need to do for all citizens of this city, not pick and choose who you work for and who you don't because you work for all of us as an elected official. I got a press release coming out in several different newspapers across the state. I'm going to do another press release telling folk that when you run a state auditor, not to vote yes, but to vote no. And I hope that people will listen because if you're going to carry the politics that you follow and the political games that you carry out, as you do in this city, then I will personally tell you my vote is no. And everybody that I know and I talk with, I tell them, no, do not vote. So I will say to you, if y'all want me to fight you, I will fight you. And I will also call again and write again to the U.S. Department of Justice Civil Rights Division and ask them to pull all of the federal and state dollars that come into this city. Because if y'all can't do the right thing when it comes to citizens' rights, then I say, you make it on the tax dollars that you collect, or you close your doors, and you all go home and never come back. Because you don't serve all citizens of this city. You serve a selected few. And I am here to say that I'm glad I'm not one of those selected few because I don't want to be in the corruptness that y'all carry out when supposedly doing your job in serving the city's citizens of Haiti. Thank you. Take a motion when we move to uh, the close well, we're not going to have a full session, but I would like to make a motion, if you're comfortable with me, I'd like to make a motion for a three to five minute recess so I can consult with Mr. Fowler and Mr. Sheriff. I hope you do it. I hope y'all take me to court because I'm willing to fight you. You're out of order, folks. I'm never out of order. I you're say what I want to say when I say it. Bring my freedom of speech. Yeah, you're out of order. My conscience. You're out of order. 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 You're out I'm not out of order. You're out of order, Mayor. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed no. Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you. comments and the document that he is distributing outside the council chambers intact in the minutes of this meeting. I'll second. Have a second by Mr. Leo. Any discussion? All in favor please say aye. Aye. All opposed no. The motion's carried. I'd like to say to all of you that we could have cur curtailed Mr. Pope's presentation. It meets some of the criteria of conduct that we do not approve of in this meeting. However, consistent with our former practice of always meeting with Mr. Pope when he wants to discuss anything, and always listening to Mr. Pope at these meetings when he wants to discuss anything, we did not curtail his presentation. Corruption and my name have never appeared on the same page, and if I can help it, it won't ever happen again. My attorney and I will be looking at this in the morning, and we will take whatever action we need to assure that doesn't happen again. Any other comments by counsel? Well, I have been all the way, I thought there were a few of them here, but I did want to say that I, I 
I just am so impressed with the depth 